Is it over? <laughs> no, no. That's a lot better, right, guys? <coughs> Yes. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone. everyone. Uh, this, this is Maverick Galaxy. Sorry, guys. guys. Um, I got a little bit of feedback on my end, end, but, you know, you know without, without the headset, headset it's, it's fine. fine. <coughs> I would like, like uh, to uh, pass, pass over those uh, privileges to Brian and, and, and Memo and, and Trez, Trez, as, as I'm, I'm currently on the weather. weather. Uh, I'm battling a few that I picked up on my son. So, uh, so I'm just going to be your audio, audio engineer, engineer for today. today. And, and I want to welcome our guests, guests uh, Richard Apcar and Ellen Stern. Stern. Hi, Hi, welcome, welcome you all to Robotech World. World. Uh, Brian, uh, Brian, can you take over? Feel better, Maverick. I'm okay. sorry you're not feeling well. Good thank evening, you. everybody, and welcome. Welcome. Thank <clears> you once again to Richard and Ellen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> so we'll start this whole thing first by saying welcome. And uh, if you can introduce yourselves and what you guys did for Robotex for the fandom out there who might be a little bit ignorant in what's going on in the world. <laughs> it was so long ago. Do you remember what we did in Robotex? <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. We were, I don't just, really remember. we were little kids at the time. I think I was pregnant. Um, <clears throat> you were. I, I was pregnant. All right. I'm not pregnant anymore. So I was, uh, oh, thank God. It's killing me. Anyway. I'm hearing every other word. Uh, I played Ben Dixon, Long Rell, and uh, Captain Vince Grant <clears throat> in, the, in the movie, and also co directed the movie. And you, Ellen, what did you do with Robert? <laughs> well, I, I was. I'm there were. Man. Did I give you your time? You this did. is my time. I, I'm taking it back. <laughs> no, you can't take it back. So anyhow, I was I was every woman. Get this. That's what. Anyhow, um, I don't remember all of those. Get this woman's names. <laughs> I did a whole. See, they did a gotcha man. They should have did a gotcha woman. I was the gotcha woman. You would have been a shoe in for that part. I was the gotcha woman. You know, Guy on uh, Galaxy Quest, what was he? Guy. Well, I was kind of like Guy. You know, I did, I did all the extra parts. So crewman number six type of thing. And so um, I remember, exactly. yeah, except there were no women who did crewman number six. Those were all guys. So Wait I a minute, was, are you saying all guys did crewman number six? <laughs> yeah, it was nasty. <laughs> what kind of show very, is this? For God's it was sake. very nasty. I, I, I took a shower afterwards. <laughs> can you tell us about uh, some of the, uh, Sorry, go on with your next question, please. Can you, can you tell us about uh, some of the recording aspects of uh, producing a show like Robotech or doing uh, voice work mm -hmm. in general? Well, Robotech at the time, they, uh, uh, Carl Masick, who was the producer and creator pretty much of the show. He went and bought this show from Japan. I see, he had, I know this echo's killing me, but the <laughs> he didn't realize that he had such a short time frame to get this show out. So we had to literally record uh, in several studios at the same time in order to finish. So Ellen would be in one studio, I'd be in another studio. Yes. We'd run back and <laughs> forth, we'd finish our parts, go up and down the stairs. Actually, actually, um, I guess, was I pregnant with our daughter? How many years ago was it? Almost You're 35. You're swelling on this pregnant thing, aren't you? Well, I'm trying to get it. <clears throat> okay, so our son was little. I wasn't pregnant. I take that back. Never mind everything I said. Our son was little. This and is like doing was... a radio show in an <laughs> echo chamber. I'm sorry, you guys. It's, it's really, <laughs> you know what, honey? Take one ear off the I've headset. done that. I've done that already, because that's the way I record. 
Well, anyhow, <clears throat> so what was happening? Our son was young. <clears throat> he was running up and down the stairs <clears throat> and people were babysitting him while I was in one studio. Richard was in one studio. And then when Richard was out of the studio, uh, recording he took care of our son and when I was out of the studio I took care of our son and other than that our son ran up and down the stairs and he thought it was playtime because he had bedtime because the recording hours were from like 10 to 3 in the morning you sound like <laughs> terrible parents honey we were from, from the story you're telling <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a babysitter and so you know it was kind of like have child will work or have but i have to say uh, carl masick was a genius about this he basically pre-sold the the show i believe it was abc mm -hmm. correct me guys if i'm wrong about that we sold the show to abc and they were going to air it and this was very unusual because they didn't show a lot of anime on the top, top uh, no. networks so uh, this was like a big deal. And he realized that he was short. They had to have uh, uh, several episodes and he felt short. So he had to go and buy two other shows and cut them together. So he basically <clears throat> three shows together to have enough material to have whatever the 26 episodes or whatever he needed to uh, sell the show to ABC. And we were working around the clock <clears throat> to finish that thing. And we, it was a miracle we did it. Which is why we were working at that time, the studios were renting to the majors and we were considered the bastard show. And it, we didn't know the life, we didn't know the life it was going to have. <clears throat> so they gave us the, you know, the crummy hours. Right. And in those days, it was real to real. And they had a room <clears throat> where uh, when one reel was done, they'd go reel change and they'd have to change the reel. And that would give us 10 minutes to go outside the studio and check on our wandering son. <laughs> we were terrible parents. No, we, <laughs> we, we do. Go ahead, Trev. But <clears throat> Bob, <clears throat> Bob, uh, God, what was Sarah? Bob. Bob Barrett. Um, <clears throat> Steve Kramer. And, Steve Kramer and... And I think, uh, I think uh, our buddy <clears throat> in Italy was in there too, directing. Greg. Greg. Finley. No, not Greg Finley. No. Greg. Although Greg Finley did direct me at some stuff at Intersound. Snagoff. Um, We've worked with Captain so many. was Captain Global, Greg Finley. Snagoff, thank you. Yeah, thank Greg Snagoff, yes. Our dear friend Greg Yes, we went Snagoff. up for a minute there. <laughs> Um, anyhow, we were, what, any, what I was going oh, to Greg say, this, <clears throat> don't watch Greg. It's not personal. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. <laughs> uh, you've been in Italy too long. That's the problem. Um, anyhow, I remember I was working almost exclusively with, um, Bob Barron, Bob Barron. I have to do his name like that because that's the way he spoke. Anyhow, he smokes cigarettes nonstop and ate candy bars. And there was a cigarette That's going. Right. There was a cigarette going the entire time in the booth. So every time they said real change, I'd go <gasps> and go outside the studio to Take breathe. Take you're talking because it's insane. Well, now it's going to fall off my head. No, it won't fall off your head. And when he asks us a question, well, how do you know? He may just say, screw this. I'm not asking you any mean more questions. We just have to watch <laughs> here. No, it says our see. internet's unstable, but I think yeah. actually, stable ones. So, yeah. Yeah, are stable you asking, ones. So. I should, yeah. Are you asking? I should, I should keep at least one up. Well, okay, but I'm just saying it's, I'm really, just saying it's really difficult to talk with that echo in it's your very, head. It's very difficult. Yeah, to for those of you listening, for those of you listening in, we're having a So we, we hear echo. us. So echo. we we hear uh, us. Now like oh, now I can like. I just, hope Greg, I just hope Greg doesn't see this. 
You don't have questions. You don't have questions. You just want to let us know. <laughs> okay, so the next question. Okay, so the next question would be then for, uh, for Richard. When yeah. you're playing Ben, yeah. and uh, let's just say that uh, many of us, when Ben died, we were heartbroken, especially right after the boy died. And uh, it's, I was heartbroken. It, I was heartbroken. It's, it's, it's just a testament to you, Richard, to how, how much of a great actor you were for okay. us to just be, uh, you know, so engrossed in, in, su in such a character. Um, how did you feel you, about, how, how did you make Ben what he was? What did you, uh, what did you give? Like, did they give uh, you know, ben, was just, ben was just basically a really good, a person. really good person. He was, you know, he, and he you know, made it easy to play because he was just really a good guy. He was trying to do the right thing. He was kind of a, Little awkward, I think, kind of. Uh, he was a little you know, awkward, he had a good so heart, hard. but he was, yeah. you know, he had a good heart, and uh, he, you know, he always uh, he loved his friends and he believed in the cause. And, uh, you know, and I'll, I got to tell you, it was a shock to me when he died too, because I didn't realize it. I didn't, I didn't read it, uh, the script, until the day I went in to to perform it. So I didn't know he was going to die either until right until he died, basically. I, I and you guys didn't tell me, <laughs> but. Uh, you know, thankfully they did. They brought me back to be uh, to be a uh, monk. You so know what was really it. sad? Nobody wept when Gotcha Woman died. Nobody cares about Gotcha Woman. <laughs> sad. Nobody cried. Nobody cried. Richard. Nobody. I didn't get fan mail. I got nothing. <laughs> I still remember you, Brian. Which character was more fun to play, Lunk or Ben? I'm sorry. What was the question? Which character was more fun to play, Lunk or Ben? Lunk or Ben? Um, that's a good question. I like I like them both. You know, it's hard. It's your little children. You know, you don't want to have a favorite over one. But uh, they were both. Fun. They both had aspects of their personality that was fun to play. I liked Lunk was a little bit more of a you know a little more of a tough guy and a little, a little more of a braggart, perhaps detective of uh, Annie or. Was that her name, Annie? Little yes, girl sir. Annie. Did I get that name right? Yes. Yeah, thank God. Um, it was only like <laughs> 25, 30 years ago we did this thing. Uh, uh, you know, he was very protective of her. He was a good guy. He was also a really good guy, too. too. He was just a little rough around the edges, I think, than Ben. Yeah. What did you channel in order to get Lunk for his voice? Because I remember as a kid, it, it took me a while to realize, wait a minute. These two guys are the same person. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I did. I must have given him a spin of some sort because uh, they were two completely different characters. And that happens a lot in these shows, you know, where you have to, you play one character for a while and then you have to switch gears and you're playing a different mm -hmm. character. So you try to hone into what it is, the physicality of that particular mm -hmm. character that would differ. I think with Lunk, he was a bigger guy. I had a little more bravado to him. And so you just kind of bring all that into the, the vocal, uh, you know, presentation of that character. You see the picture and then you uh, put a voice to it. Yeah. Now, both of your IMDb pages are so, longer yeah. than my arm. I think. Could you tell the people how, yeah. uh, for those of well, you... I was hoping you'd say your arm. I wasn't sure where you are going. <laughs> would you tell the people out, out there in, 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 in podcast land... How would, how would, if they wanted to get into voice acting, how did you, how would you uh, uh, have such a long career? What did you have to do? Well, the best way to get into this business of uh, money, <laughs> a, a big package, probably about 10, 20 grand in cash. Or more is And good. send it to us with a nice little note. And uh, we will unlock that. Uh, the truth is, Story of how we got into it. No, I want it. them to send us big <laughs> things of cash. <laughs> our internet is unstable, but you know, there's no accounting for our stability. Well, I, yes, I think there was a sign there news that Epcar is a little unstable at this moment. <laughs> so anyhow, I was starring in a film. It was Western, and the they film had ended. Go. And the casting director said to me, "Ellen, do you want to do some voice work?" <clears throat> 
And um, so I was going in for the audition <clears throat> and I, so they said, yeah, we could use men. So, I mean, he <laughs> said that. So I asked my then boyfriend at the time. This is before and, I had a gray beard actually. Yeah, well that's from doing voice work this many years. You. You get gray you get a and you gray grow beard. A beard. It's also a key to getting a lot of voiceover work. You have to have the grow of the gray beard. It's very important. It's it's <laughs> it's essential. So anyhow, um, Richard and I both went in. We both got the parts. And now when we got in, nobody was doing voice work. I mean, nobody. And those. No, we were the only two. We were the dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Listen, you know, if somebody is interested and wants to do this kind of work, there there is ways you can do it. And uh, but there's what? places in town here. There's places in Texas mm -hmm. that do a lot of anime. And New thing. York. But our advice, and I think Ellen and I agree on this, is to become the best How actor. I know I would agree. Because I've heard you talk. Uh, to become the best actor you can be first and you want to be able to become a good mm -hmm. actor not just do funny voices or it's very important and then for me mm -hmm. the second most important thing is to read out loud because a lot of people don't do it, but we have to cold read a performance when we do uh, anime and when we do games because we never get to see the script until we're actually inside the booth so in order to do that you have to be really good at reading, uh, cold, good at it. And a lot of people are not good at it. Just read it out loud every day until you just get really comfortable with that. And, and that will help a lot. Well, um, I, I do agree with Richard on you this. He'll, he'll kill me if I don't. <laughs> um, you do have to be the best. And that means going to acting classes. Because if you don't understand the arc of how to create a character, then you don't understand how to create a character within the voice. So first you have to understand what the arc of a character is. Uh, a, a character kind of has a first, a second, and a third act. In other words, you present the character, what is the problem, and how is the problem resolved? And this is in every single character that you see. <clears throat> Even if it's a little bird flying up in a tree. I've, I've got this on my knee and I see it's So for all of you out there who yeah, are getting well, seasick, terrible. I just, apologize. I'm getting seasick just watching it. <laughs> but <clears throat> anyhow, um, if you see a little bird up in the tree and all of a sudden it sees a cat coming what is towards it, What is the bird doing again? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, okay. So anyhow, all of a sudden it sees uh, the cat coming towards it and it flies away. And then uh, you have the resolve. Either it gets eaten by the cat or else it, it's all things are fine. So that's your first, second and third act on a seemingly inconsequential character. <clears throat> so first, I'm getting seasick again. All right, let me hold it. No, no, because then I won't be able to see. Okay, I'm balancing it on both knees. Uh, I'd like to ask, ask a, a yeah, question to both you and uh, Richard, Richard regarding, regarding yeah. um, you both you are both experienced, experienced voice, voice acting, acting, but have, have you been inspired in tunes, tunes of uh, working, working elsewhere within, within the, the same, same industry, industry, like, like say, say directing? directing? I know, I know Richard, Richard uh, you worked, worked on Shot of Chronicles. And, uh, you know, you know as a director, director a lot of this voice directing, directing. Lots of and, and what's, what's your experience, experience on that? And how, and how would you, uh, would you, would you consider, uh, furthering your, your career in, in, in that, that area, in that, that direction? <coughs> well, it's, uh, it is constantly being furthered. It's, I'm constantly <clears throat> directing and doing voice work. Same. So they're kind of hand in glove, these, these careers. But the thing is, again, it goes back to being an actor because we what we need as actors, we know what to give the actor. Um, the director is the captain of the ship. 
when you come in for a two hour or a four hour session, you don't know what the plot of the whole show is. It's up to the director to enlighten the actor and give the background or the bio and give the background or the biography. And then not only that, but what is needed character for the show. So the director is the captain. And then they also modulate the performance of the actor because the actor comes in cold. So is it very, very natural? Is it bigger? Is it a lot of gravitas to the performance. These are all things that the director needs to enlighten the actor with. <clears throat> and I and I do do a lot, a lot of this uh, uh, work. I direct a lot of uh, there's a lot of projects we're doing, uh, and a lot of projects Ellen mm -hmm. and I do together. We just did the last uh, loop on the third series that was on Toonami. Blue Jack. And, uh, and I just uh, you know I've got a lot of stuff I'm working on as well, and I direct a lot Same. of games and do that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, we do all, we do it all. And, uh, we, you know, I'm either constantly directing or constantly voicing <clears> and <throat> I'm always doing something. Uh, but it all goes back to knowing how to act. Yeah. It all goes back to that. And we do on camera stuff as well. I mean, we do a lot of different uh, variety of stuff. You know. Should I tell them? About do you want to know? Do we want to know? Yeah, it, it depends, depends on, on uh, I'll, leave I'll leave it up, it up to, to you to decide. decide. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened the money? Did, he, did he go get a beer somewhere what happened to him yeah he was on the road so that's why he's on the road oh sir uh, uh, Trish, do you, you have, have any, any uh, questions, questions to ask, ask of that ask far, 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 cars? of course myself being uh, more centrally located in these continental united states i was wondering if you two would mind mm -hmm. sharing some of your favorite convention attendance war stories moments or fans that you've mm -hmm had over the years. I'm sure you've got some interesting experiences for <laughs> those of us fans who can't say, always make it to the big cons. For the most part, 99% of the yeah. people we come in contact with are, are lovely, they're wonderful, they're really respectful exactly. and, and charming and very, very nice. And we, we love our fans. We have a great we time do. when we go to uh, conventions and we get to meet them and we you know, it's always fun to find out what particular show they're into or character that they like. And, uh, you know, I don't I don't think we have any war stories or weird no, I don't that where we have weird stories is in uh, the production. Um, we have funny well, stories. I'm going to ask you about that. Well, do you want to ask about that? Please give us a give us a. <laughs> <laughs> um. um let me what, see. what funny war stories do you have? Well, I I can't remember what I had for breakfast this morning. Today. I was I was um, is 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 this PG or is it? A you can keep all out. There's, There's no, no rating, rating on it. Okay. Well, fuck that. Children, <laughs> if you listen, this what is happened? not for you. What happened? What are you? Day. Uh, we're doing this Italian, uh, it was a live action film, and <laughs> you know what I'm doing. No, don't talk about <clears throat> that. That's... Don't? No. It's funny. No. I'm no, sorry, guys. No. <laughs> I, I might have to pull a plug on that one. But it's funny. No, I don't care. <laughs> no. Well, anyway, moving along, what were some yes. other questions? Uh, let me ask you this. The, um, oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I have been I have been working on for the last few years a sitcom that I wrote. Richard and I have sh uh, I shot the teaser. Richard's starring in it with me, with Stephen Tobolowsky. And what are you doing? Okay. Of course, it's okay. You so, should have, have a comedy, comedy show, show together. together. Anyhow, Seriously. it's really funny. I, uh, 
What? It is a comedy show. It's a <laughs> sitcom. And I can't tell you the title because... This is a giant echo in your head. Cross. I'm crossing my fingers, my toes, my eyes, and everything. Um, because Just don't cross your husband. Don't cross your wife. <laughs> He's wholeheartedly agreeing with that statement. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyhow, it's really, really funny. It's it's about a couple who I is it? But it's not us. It's like us, Isn't but it? it's not us. No, it's not us. All the situations are pretend. They're based on I have my own mind. I have my own mind. I have. So then you steal from me. Uh, Richard, uh, Richard uh, I, um, another, another question, question I have is, is um, Hollywood, Hollywood has been changing, changing a lot in the past decade, decade in terms of technology, technology and adopting uh, uh, oh, yes. virtual reality, reality and CG. And, and, and the next, next thing, thing they're, they're doing, doing is uh, you know, virtual, virtual actors. actors. And, and eventually, eventually they'll, they'll be, able be able to copy, copy and mimic uh, uh, voice patterns, patterns from, from past actors who are long since yeah. gone, yeah. like Marilyn like Monroe or Marlon Brando. So I would like to know what your... What 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 what, what you do you feel, feel about, about this, this and this trend with Hollywood, Hollywood eventually like, like basically, basically sign on your rights right for your image, image and now your voice, voice away, away to, to Hollywood? Hollywood. I'm not kind, going it kind to of start. sucks, but you know what? Who, who kind of started all this was Walt Disney. He he, he came up. He wanted to create these uh, these uh, ama, you know automatons mm -hmm. in the park, so he wouldn't have to pay people to play those parts. And but you know mm. if you look at those things that he's replaced people with, they're they're not that great or lifelike, are they? If you, you see know? Abraham so Lincoln, I, I'm you sure know. the technology is super advanced from that, and I'm sure they mm. could probably come up with something that's maybe even close. But, but they'll never replace a really but, uh, blood and bones actor. I don't. But think. here's the big but, the big but, the big, the big, <laughs> the big I like but. <laughs> That lie. Sorry. It's my turn. <laughs> the big but is yes. that you get spontaneity and creativity in a person's performance, which you can never duplicate yeah. with well, uh, an automaton. I mean, they've done. A, they've done. Even with CGI, you know, they're you still, still need an actor they're somewhere. still grabbing. And even with motion capture, you need mm -hmm. an actor actor in there you know playing yeah. the character listen it may come to a point where they don't, don't need actors anymore but i'm gone by that so what the hell do i care listen <laughs> when we're dead and gone you can do whatever the hell you want um, now, well, well speaking, speaking, of, speaking, speaking of, of changes, changes speaking we of changes. find you and we will kill you okay. slowly so, so, speaking, speaking of changes, changes you you've, you've been, been in this industry, industry for, for a few decades, decades now, now. <clears throat> excuse me Yes. And what, what differences, differences do you see from when you first started in the industry compared to what it is now? Like, do you do you feel that the, the industry has changed to a point where uh, it's a lot more, more competitive now? A lot of uh, well, I know, I know in our, our, our aspect of the business, as far as being in this business, it's a lot more competitive than it was when I think when we started because we. Mm -hmm. You know, like Ellen was saying, it wasn't there wasn't such a glut of people wanting to do no, this work, uh -uh. and there is now, and so it's it's a lot more competitive. We were very fortunate that we got in when we did. To be honest with you, uh, it's it's pretty crazy right now. But it's uh, like you know, at uh, I do I do panels, and and I will ask how many of you would like to be actors? Very few. How many of you want to be voice actors? Hand shoot up. <clears throat> It didn't used to be like that. Yeah. Um, so it's entirely different. And before celebrities wouldn't be caught dead doing uh, animation or <clears throat> or uh, well, voice work. Not, not that much. they wouldn't be caught dead, but it wasn't it wasn't their their druthers. Now they to all want to do it. Yeah, they all want. Yeah. To it. Whether they're good at it or not. <laughs> and generally, <laughs> they don't know how to do it because it. Yeah, it's a different uh, acting style altogether. Yeah. What they're used to doing. Okay. okay. Um, um, first, let's open. 
let's, let's I, 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 I want to ask, ask you a, a, like, kind, kind of a personal, personal question. question. Oh who, 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 who did, did you inspire? Aspire. Like, like, who inspired you to, to become, become the, the, like, like, either voice actor? actor. Like, like, do you, do you try, try to do a channel, say, like, like Marlon Brando, Brando Richard, Richard, in, in, becoming, in, in, in becoming, becoming a certain actor? actor? Or, or Ellen, do you channel, channel like, say, Richard Bardot? When, when, when you, you like, like who's your inspiration, inspiration for Green yeah, 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 and, and what you channel? There's a lot of wonderful actors that I uh, was very inspired He's by. He's talking oh, to me. Sorry. Let him finish, and then you talk. No, 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 it's my question. Watch his lips. Read yeah. his lips. Go ahead, Maverick. No, no, it's fine. I asked I asked the question, and I'm just wondering, who do you channel when you when you perform these roles? Because, like, like. Like, like for myself, myself when, when I when I, I try, try to act, act I, I, I try, try to, to channel, channel say um, Tom, Tom Cruise or um, <clears throat> what was another famous, famous actor within the uh, well, you know, those, well, you know, you try, try to channel the actor, actor that you chose to use they, when you're kind of starting out, <clears throat> but ultimately the goal is to become the character. You don't want to be necessarily a play an actor playing an actor playing a character. You want to become that character. And, but if there's something about a particular actor that you like the way he acts or performs, then you, you can, can certainly borrow. incorporate that into your performance. Also, you know, everybody has different emotional feelings about everything. So when you're looking at, how would you feel if you were this person? Um, I mean, of course, if you're playing a, a killer, you're not, not going to say, how would I feel if I were the killer? But even a killer has authentic feelings. And so you base that, you try and find the truth of that. Um, now, sometimes if you're doing a character and you say, oh, she really, uh, Helen Mirren inspires me, or Dame Judy Dench inspires me, or um, I, I, I don't yeah, know, yeah. just. Mary Martin. Right. She inspired me tremendously was Mary Martin. <clears throat> when I was younger, uh, being an actor. And uh, I mean, when I was first, you know, an actress, but um, I mean, every character, you'll be inspired by different people. Because if you were to do a child's voice, you're not going to think of Tom Cruise. Um, but if there's something about the character that reminds you of Tom Cruise, I mean, that's a legitimate use of, <clears throat> of uh, you know, if there's something about that character, you say, yeah, this would be, uh, he's very Tom Cruise-ish, you know, or whatever, or Tom and you Hanks, can utilize that. Or any of the Toms. Yeah, or, you know, but you, you try to you you know, make you it give your yourself own. the, the yes. Yes. Whenever you play a character, you basically give yourself uh, the personality of this character. What is this character about? You know, and then you you put yourself into his situation and you react to what's going on. To him. And there, that's why you have to take acting classes and you have to understand the arc of creating a character. That's why people who want to just jump into voice work are, they don't understand uh, the arc of the characters. And you- What about as, the arc of the covenant? They'll understand the arc of the covenant <laughs> better than the arc of the character. Okay, so here's my, here's my next question because- I think you get what I'm saying. Yes, ma'am. Here's another question. Uh, there's a, for yes. the, the live action movie that's gonna be theoretically coming up, uh, Yes. Richard, for for Ben, is there any actor out there today that you would want to cast, besides yourself, of course, that uh, you would want to cast for? That's outrageous. <laughs> is there anyone that you would want to cast? Uh, for Ben? Yeah, I think, uh, um, uh, what's his name? He's always he's in everything. Uh, He'd have, he's not, he's, Ben's kind of a beefy guy though, uh, but this guy would be, he would be funny as Ben. How uh, old is Ben? Ben's 
early i would say early so, 20s so i don't know that's a that's a good question actually uh he could be somebody like who, who's the guy who does ant-man what's his oh uh, paul rudd paul rudd you like paul, no, paul rudd I, someone like Paul Rudd, I think Paul Rudd's too old to do it now, but someone who's maybe mm -hmm. like a chunkier Paul Rudd, a younger uh, Zach Galifianakis or somebody like that like Jack might Black. be kind of fun. I don't know. Jack Black. Jack Black. Mm -hmm. Jack Black actually might be a good uh, choice. Yeah. But he's, he's probably too old now to do it. He's too old. old. He's definitely he's too, too old. old. Um, <laughs> not, sure. not sure. Do you have, what's a, his name? have any... Uh... And what's the guy, who was the guy on Saturday Night Live, the big guy who just left? Yeah, but you know what? They're not paying us to cast it. <laughs> well, he's just saying, well, who, who would you who would you cast if you could? <laughs> yeah, but it's fun, it's I know. fun to speculate. So mm -hmm. if you had to... The whole thing falls apart when you say, beside yourself. <laughs> yeah. If you were, okay, so well, just for, for the big three, uh, because I think yeah. you know these characters pretty well, for Lisa, for Rick, and for uh, Captain Glover. Mm -hmm. Who would you who would you cast for that? Well, Rick, you, you you would need someone like Tom Cruise, but a much younger someone like Tom Cruise. Uh, I don't know. And Rick and who was the other? Lisa and who was the other? And for Midnight? And Captain and Captain Global. <clears throat> Captain Global. Oh, if you'd have uh, what's his name, uh, Christoph Waltz. I think for Lisa, Kristen Wiig. <clears throat> Kristen Wiig, but it's like all comedy, though. It doesn't matter. She's an actress. Well, that you, you wanted to be, yeah. I don't know. Actually, Actually Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks I just was a comedy, comedy actor, actor before, before he, he did, did the more serious, serious roles. roles. Yes. Well, so is, uh, so is, uh, what's his and name? Is, Williams. And the thing is, I do drama, I do comedy. I do Shakespeare, you know, you're an actor. But and to get her to do a dish. <laughs> I don't think I have played that character. A dish, a dish. The... Wait, let me think who I would choose to play Lisa. That's a tough one too. Because <clears throat> Lisa has got to be kind of tough. One of our first Justin. was uh, was Haley Atwell, possibly. I don't know her. Your young girl uh, for uh, 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 Agent Carter on on the in the uh, MCU. He was in Captain America. Oh, okay. Carter. Yeah, right. Possibly, or uh, uh, maybe uh, 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 what was it? Benoist. Uh, you might have to cast like all new people to be. Honest okay. with you, I don't know that there's any stars. I mean, they're going to try to put stars in it because they always do that. Well, right. I, I think they should try to match the people that are really correct for the characters. I would believe in giving, giving a chance, chance to uh, younger actors and actresses in, in order to pass the voice. The, the, the um, torch to the generation. generation. Should have been around a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but see, 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 for me, I, I, would, I would like. like to do it kind of like, like Star Wars, Wars where, where you, know, you, know, you put new fresh faces, faces on. on. So, so like, like I had, had uh, Halston Sage, Sage to play uh, uh, Lisa Hayes. Hayes. I had uh, Captain Global be played, played by Anson, Anson Mouse. Mouse. So, so you, know, you know, like, like a, a lot, lot of faces, faces that are not, not necessarily uh, A-listers, but, but maybe you know, they, they, they could be capable of being like at least B-listers. I don't know that you know that Mark Hamill and you know Carrie Fisher. Known to anybody no, really weren't. at all when they first did Star oh, Wars? Yeah, yeah. Well, well Carrie Fisher is known. Well, we don't want to take yeah, your time. We don't want to take up too much more of your time. But could you tell us a little <coughs> bit about what uh, voice acting you guys are doing today? I know you put you posted something on there about Mortal Kombat. Uh, just early. okay. So this is kind of cool. This just came out today. The number one game. I'm taking this off here. The number one game of April was Mortal Kombat 11, which I play Raiden in. I'm very proud to play Raiden in that. And then the number one game 2019 so far is mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts 3, which I play Ansem and Terra Xehanort in that as well. So I'm like the lead villain of that guy. And I'm mm -hmm. one of the lead 
Mortal Kombat. And so those are two games are number one, and I'm in both of those games. So I'm pretty excited about that. Pretty cool. Uh, we are currently, uh, last year, we were number one on Toonami with Lupin the Third. And I'm sure that's going to be mm, number one again. if it And, uh, about and we have a lot of Lupin the Third. We can't talk about that. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, bless you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, that we've done in the past. And yes. one, um, one last. <laughs> uh, we're doing a lot of stuff, though. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, speaking of number one, one last 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 a lot of stuff going on. There's really a lot of stuff. I, Video game, several video games I just worked on. <clears throat> One just came out, a uh, Marvel video game came out, and I, I play the same, which is kind of fun in the Spider Man uh, world. So that's kind of fun. There's a and, bunch of new characters. Um, I'm, I'm on stuff that I can't say what it is. And then some of these tricks. Some of these tournaments, they, they win <clears throat> by using Akuma from Street Fighter V, who I also voice. Oh, okay. So, okay, one last quick question. Uh, you guys go. Um, which is more fun to play, good guys or bad guys? No, tell them about you first, then we can answer that question. Um, anyhow, uh, I'm I'm uh, in loop on the third. Uh, uh, in, uh, let me see, Gundam Unicorn Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn. I play the villainous Martha Viss Carbine. <clears throat> um, um, help You're me. no one. Uh, oh, that's that's old. Uh, you know, I'm in Bleach. I'm a Saki Kurosaki. But I'm I'm in a bunch of stuff that I can't mention. Are you doing something on Netflix? Oh yeah, I'm doing a bunch of stuff on Netflix, and. <clears throat> Uh, what is it called, too. Sakura? One of them is really weird. It's called the Backstreet Girls. I don't know if you've seen that. It's this one show. I'm doing is called... Is there anything else you'd like to say before I Throw up. talk? Um, anyhow, uh, all the things that I want to tell you, I can't tell you. I can't tell you about the sitcom. I can't tell you the name of the sitcom. I can't tell you the names of the shows that we just did. All right, well, tell them what you I can tell them. I can tell you that what you've got to do is keep in touch with us and watch us. And because follow us both on Instagram. That's exactly Very what important. I was going to say. I was going to say that. I kind of stole that, didn't I? You stole that moment from me. To watch us and follow us on Instagram. Number one, to help us with our followers, because we need followers for this sitcom that we're doing. And it's, um, we re not begging, I'm asking. No, I'm pleading. No, I'm, I'm just being polite. I'm being polite. I'm, I'm, am I being polite? You're being unstable along with your internet connection. My internet connection is very unstable. But follow us on Instagram, we're on Facebook, Instagram. we're on no, Twitter. No, we don't care about oh, that. Okay, forget Instagram. about Facebook. Just Instagram. Forget you about follow us Twitter. on one thing. We don't care make about it Instagram. If you have to do one thing, make it Instagram. Thank you. That's and make it Ellen Stern. And Richard Epcar. Epcar. And Richard Epcar, because we will be there, and we will see you, and we talk to you and we will share with you we will talk to them <laughs> what are you sharing exactly everything that we can't say. <coughs> <coughs> any other questions yeah so uh what's more fun to play a good guy or a bad guy which pays more <laughs> bad guy. especially as a woman no, I love playing villainesses. I do. I love playing villains too, but there is something really uh, enjoyable for mm -hmm. me to play a good guy. 
it's it's cathartic <clears throat> and it's uh, I, I enjoy it. A compliment I got, and this was the funniest one. Uh, I was playing a villainous in this series, and this guy said, "You do a really good job, and don't take this the wrong way." But I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> And, and that guy was Charles Manson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but, you know, I, I mean, it's like to feel, to have somebody feel that strongly about, it's exciting that because that's what you want them to do. Whether you're the good guy or the bad guy or the in-between guy or the in-between woman. That came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not that there's anything 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 that there's and for joining us tonight. Pleasure. And uh, we look forward to you guys uh, um, in your next con, where you guys are going to be at. Can you just show that real quick? Next oh, yeah. we should gonna say. Be, we're going to be at Anime mm -hmm. Next in Atlantic City. From June 7th through the 9th. Yes. And then we're going to be at Otacon. Otacon in Washington, D.C. From July 25th through the 28th. And then we're going to be at Epcar Con. In Hawaii, and you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Sorry. Ellen. Thank you very much, Richard, for coming out. I wanted to give a shout out to uh, everyone out there in uh, podcast land. I want to thank Trez and Maverick and for myself. Hi, podcast land. <laughs> thank, I, you for, thank you podcast for land. I want to I want to say real quick that all of these guys mm -hmm. are super nice, good guys. Really, uh, we love, love working you. with these guys. We love them, and they've been great. Brian was great. He was mm -hmm. uh, he was uh, on the roast with us and did a great yes. job. It was hilarious. We've known uh, Memo for a long time. He's Where is guy. Memo? He Memo, we off. miss you. He's on the lamb. I think he, he, he's, he's on, on YouTube, YouTube chat, chat right, right now. He's a super nice guy. <coughs> So please tell him hi, and uh, we just we actually met Maverick for the first time. I think. Yes. 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 But, uh, Maverick, I it's hope you so feel nice better, Maverick. Are you sick? Um, or do you? Have I picked up the phone. Well, my, my son, son has, has um, I, I had, had an ear infection on Friday, Friday, and, and then I, I ended up picking up uh, within like twenty four hours. So that's what they do. They share their joy with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a gift. Yes. 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 Um, I love my. I love my family. Quite a, quite a lot, lot. And and I, do I do everything, everything for my, my son, son but you know, you know, you know, you know too, too close, close is not good. good. <laughs> you get, <laughs> you get sick, sick, right? right? So, so I, I take him to him school, school. Yeah, I, we work. We I make, make a lot, a lot of sacrifices. sacrifices. We have, we've had two beautiful children of our own. We've been very blessed and very fortunate. And I hope everybody listening to this is just as fortunate and blessed as we have been. Yes, and if you want to be a voice actor, Go out, take classes, and learn, learn, learn. Be the best you can that's be. that's the way to do it. And for the women who are starting out, if you want to be a voice actress, you've got to be better than anybody else. So that means train, train, train. Take voice classes. I'm not right. saying singing. Take voice classes. And for illustrators and writers, write good, strong female characters about women who are steeped in reality and aren't just a fantasy because the organic reality of all the animation is what makes us relate to every single one of these characters. And if none of that works, send us ten or twenty thousand dollars, <laughs> and we will take care of you. Did you give them the address? <laughs> Thanks for having us on, guys. Thank you, guys. All and remember, best. please, if you like the video, like and subscribe online to us, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. So, this is Matt. This is Lancer, Mav, Trez, and the Epcot. You'll see us next week. Signing out. Do is signing out. All right, uh, folks. Uh, thank you uh, for, for showing. Uh,
uh, be, uh, uh, coming on our podcast. <coughs> And, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, I just, just want to say, say everyone, everyone you know, you know, there's, there's going to be, be more coming, coming soon. soon. So, so everyone, everyone uh, good night, and, and uh, hopefully we'll see, see you all again. again. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.